Sa Sa And now, here we go, and turns into you. Fighting out of the blue corner, playing the red corner. Playing with the point in a 10 star and 6 pounds. He is undefeated. 28 contests, 28 wins, 18 inside the scheduled distance. Coming to the ring as the former undefeated British champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the WBA and IBF International and Intercontinental Welterweight Champion and the fighting pride of Sheffield, England. It's the special one. Sports fans, this is it. The final hurdle, 12 rounds in a final eliminator for the OBF Waterweight Championship of the World. Both I expect, keep it clean, straight, straight away when told. Both watch your head, good luck to your ball, touch club. Well, the people of Sheffield have certainly racked it up and got your two. This place is buzzing. Now let's see if Kel Brook has wrapped it up. That upper body looks in terrific shape. He's clearly been working hard in the gym. He's clearly been taking on board what his nutritionist has been telling him and his strength and conditioning coach. They both say he's ready to go 12 rounds plus. Let's see if he's learned the lessons from Carson Jones and how it all so nearly went wrong for Kel Brook. Let's see what Hector Saldivia can bring to the party as well. He's definitely not here. Just for a night now. This is a huge night for the Argentinian as well. Well, we know the Jones fight must have an effect on Kelbrook. So what will it be? Will it be happy that he's, he's you know, sucking out all his faults? Or will it be questioning his punching power at the top level? Or will it be questioning his stamina over the 12 rounds? He hasn't had a chance to prove that yet. This is where he gets the chance. Will he be prepared to set a pace right from the off here? Well, that's the blueprint, isn't it? Everybody knows how to make Kelbrook suffer. Just put pressure on. Put the foot down. See if you can knock him out of his rhythm. Let's see if Saldivia will try and do that. And if he does, how will Brook respond? He's a terrific specialist help from Dave Hedborough, the strength and conditioning coach at Sheffield Hallam University and from Dave Stacker, a nutritionist in Sheffield who's a big boxing fan who said I watched him, I didn't know him, I watched him, I could see he was doing it all wrong I could see he was dehydrating and starving himself and it's such a scientific business now, especially at this level Jim you've got to get all the bases covered and that includes your diet as well Yeah, it's so important, just having my, my first look really um, Saldivia I mean, he's cute enough, you know, he's showing little feints, he knows he can't march forward, he knows he's found out already how difficult it is to get close to Kelbrook, he's not doing anything silly, he's keeping a cool head, he's keeping a tight defence, so he's going about the job the right way, that, that was good work there from him, first impression is that he's not all that bad. And he certainly isn't going to sit back, and he's got his pace, but that was a nice right hand from the Sheffield man.
working. And they're already in crisis mode in the Saldivia camp. Robinson Zamora and his team have got some work to do here. Because Brook has shown already that he's got the power to hurt this man. Yeah, and Saldivia didn't do anything all that wrong. He was showing little pains, he was keeping his defences up. But a terrific shot. Brook just timed it perfectly, stepped right in with the shot. I mean, as I say, Saldivia seemed to know what he was about. The, the elbow at the, the back of the head there, I think that was one of the things that he complained about, obviously, accidentally, as you can see. But, but look how solid Brook looks. Flattening his feet, widening his stance, and digging in the shots. That was the other up. Nobody saw that one coming. Beautiful touch. The timing was perfect. And there's a real sense of purpose about Kel Brook here. Round two, Hector Saldivia, El Tigre, on the floor and hurt in the first round. And hurt again from that right hook and backing up. And Brook is showing some serious power here. And Saldivia is in the eye of the storm. And he knows he's in big trouble. I mean, he backed off straight away there. He knows he cannot trade with Brook. His problems have just trebled in one round. Looking to land a little left hand counter there, Brooke. He's looking composed and solid. Picking his shots really well, and that was wild from Saldivia. Who is getting marked up already as well. Saldivia so did get some power into those swings that didn't land, but he did get some power into them. That's his best chance. That's another left hand. Really bad marked up around that right eye jump already. I thought it was Saldivia was the man that was bringing the power. We got that wrong. It's Brook. Yeah, Brook's done everything right so far. If he's in punching range, he's letting punches go and he's getting himself out of there. Saldivia walking onto the shot. Still little signs of danger from Saldivia. I do believe he has a dangerous punch because he just can't find the target. There's another right hand that wobbles Saldivia. Right across the goal. Quick stop. Now Acosta might have it up. Use the elbow. Well, now Acosta comes from down the road in Doncaster, but he's not going to be shown any favouritism to the Sheffield man. I mean, that was a reflex action. He got his own punches off. He knew the counter was coming back, so he just used the elbow defensively as, as opposed to aggressively. That's a nice thing. He's got beautiful punches. There's some real purpose to these shots as well. He's packing a lot of power behind these punches. He just looks so strong and so confident in what he's doing at the moment, Brook. So focused as well, you can see the, the concentration. Yeah, the combination again. Snap back the head of Saldivia. And he is boxing like a man who's been stuck by all this criticism, Kel Brook. Now Saldivia trying to find something. The inside uppercut. Didn't work. Brooks boxing like a man with a big point to prove. He's been questioned, he's been criticised, and let's face it, a lot of that has been justified, and he seems determined to answer his critic in the best possible way here. Terrific start for him. Right, so Davia knows he can't box his right close. He's trying to let some swings go. He does have power, but they're crude. That's oh, a good shot. That you can really see well, the power. Right in the Betfair. Sponsors of boxing on Sky Sports. Play Fred on your mobile with a free £5 on our fantastic selection of games. Brand new to Betfred. Explore the world of Da Vinci Diamond. Win again and again with the tumbling reels. Try Mobile Rainbow Riches with its three bonus rounds. Go on the prowl with Wolf Run, a five reel, 40 pay line slot with stacked wild symbols for extra chances to win. Or try your hand at Mobile Blackjack, Roulette and Video Poker. Check out Betfred.com on your mobile to get your free £5 now. Or text FREE to 89660. What's the crowd like at the old lips? It mate, you've got 10,000 people in there, please. Stop panicking. Fight, fight from up here, bum. Don't be throwing it from here. Keep your hands up tight. Bang your eye. Stop it again, bum. And bull. then downstairs. Come on, dude. telling his man just to keep the jab going because there was a warning sign there right at the end of that round that Saldivia isn't finished yet. No. They landed a good left right on the bell and they just said it was. So, 
certainly does have the power. Let's see if Brook will listen to his trainer and keep working that jab, which was so successful, a lot flowing off that jab in the first round. Including the uppercut that puts Saldivia on the floor, and there it goes again. And he's going to bring it Listen, he'd already found a rangefinder with it, and then he did. 